is Mary. Mary is a neuroscientist, a pretty brilliant one, who specialises in vision. She can tell you all about your cone cells, which are the colour-sensitive receptors in your eye, or how your brain perceives colour. But for her whole life, she's lived in a house where everything is black and white, and she's never left. She has a black and white TV and a black and white computer monitor. She knows everything there is to know about colour, but she's never experienced it. So here's a question for you. If one day Mary leaves her black and white house, if she goes outside and actually experiences colour, will she learn anything? Or not? This is the knowledge argument, also known as Mary's Room. It's a thought experiment first proposed by Australian philosopher Frank Jackson in 1982. It aims to demonstrate that our conscious experience is made up of non-physical things. Let me explain. Physicalism is a philosophical view that everything that exists has physical properties. For example, chemistry, biology and even neuroscience tell us that human bodies are composed of six basic elements, which then make up things like our cells, bones and muscles. But is our physical nature our complete nature? Jackson argued that physicalism must be false. Because even though Mary knew all the physical facts about colour, there is a fact she discovers when she leaves her black and white house. The fact about what it is like for someone to see red, or blue, or green. This idea in philosophy was discussed long before Mary's room. Back in 1925, English philosopher Charlie Broad posed a similar scenario. Imagine that a mathematical angel with unlimited mathematical skill would know the exact microscopic structure of ammonia, but he wouldn't be able to predict that a substance with this structure would smell like ammonia does when it gets into the human nose. The angel could predict that ammonia would stimulate your olfactory nerves, but he wouldn't know the exact smell until he experienced it. So can some facts be subjective? And then, are they still facts? If you're first person, conscious experience counts, then maybe your brain is more than just an information processing machine. The mind-body problem is where philosophy and neuroscience meet. The problem asks what is the relationship between the mind, our beliefs, sensations and emotions, and the body, the matter we're composed of. In a 2008 study, neuroscientists showed people random letters while they had their brain activity recorded in an fMRI machine. They were asked to press a button whenever they felt like it and remember which letter was on the screen when they did. The subject showed a pattern of brain activity that predicted their actions up to seven seconds before their conscious decision. The unconscious activity in their brains shaped their decision making. In terms of that mind-body problem, this suggests that your body encompasses your mind. Is our first-person experience so special? Of course the answer to this question depends on your perspective. In the case of Mary, her experience of colour will probably change her feelings and emotions towards colour, but not her scientific understanding of it. So perhaps a fact isn't subjective, but our interpretation of it can be. Then that's a fact. Let me know what you think in the comments, and see you next week.